August Strikes Back vs. Jada Pinkett Smith. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. I have established in a detailed breakdown of Jada Pinkett Smith's behaviour that she is a narcissist. And I have also analysed for you video footage explaining her various behaviours. We know from various disclosures that came by, and especially with regard to the red table talk that she engaged in, that she had an affair, although she called it an entanglement, which was uh, diminishing her responsibility for it, with August Alsina, an R&B vocalist. This young man was a friend of her son Jaden, many years younger than her, and at the time was unwell, facing difficulties with his mental health and addiction. She then took it upon herself to engage in an act of infidelity, or several acts of infidelity, although she will dispute that, calling it an entanglement and saying that it occurred at a time when her and Smith were not together. But she decided, in her infamous wisdom, as some kind of healing guru, that the best way to help this young man with his own troubles was to give him lashings of spicy poontang, slide up and down, and burn some calories on his dick for the purposes of making him feel better and getting over his problems. Well done, Dr. Pinkett Smith. An excellent prescription indeed. And of course, her entanglement with him exhibited a lack of emotional empathy for Will Smith, also for her children, a lack of emotional empathy for August Olsina, drawing him in and seducing him into an affair, misleading him, and it's quite clear with his comments thereafter that he was hard hit by the experience that he had by being lured into some sexy time with Jada Pinkett Smith. It showed her sense of entitlement to do what she wanted whenever she chose to do so. She demonstrated a lack of accountability for her behaviours. She saw nothing wrong with having this entanglement whilst married to Smith. She saw nothing wrong with transgressing the boundary of sleeping with her son's friend. She saw nothing wrong with sleeping with somebody who was many years younger than her. And she saw nothing wrong with the fact that he was troubled. And some might say that to take advantage of him when he was vulnerable under underpins her absence of emotional empathy. I have explained elsewhere that sex is a major weapon of seduction when it comes to our kind. And you can do no better to understand that than read my excellent book, Sex and the Narcissist. You can obtain that from the Knowledge Vault, link in the video description below. It's Easter. Use the time to watch this video and then go and get the book. Extend your knowledge and then afterwards pick your jaw up off the ground. And you'll be a lot wiser for how the narcissist behaves. Jada Pinkett Smith is a physically attractive woman, and there's no doubt that she certainly got the skills when it comes to seduction. Doubtless, she can suck a golf ball through 40 feet of hosepipe. And young Augustus Alsina was there, no doubt, like a rabbit in the headlights. Caught as she moved towards him, along came a spider, and she drew him in, and she asserted control over him with making the beast with two backs, doing the nasty, getting on, getting on the train to Poundville. Thereafter, of course, she disengaged from him, and we've heard in one of my analyses of the Red Table talk how she hadn't heard anything from Org in quite some time. He has spoken about the pain that he experienced, but it would appear that August is not remaining entirely silent, because as an article that appears in the New York Post, written by Asia Grace, we're told, Jada Pinkett Smith's ex-lover calls out entanglement affair in new song. Jada Pinkett Smith's former sweetheart is singing like a canary. August Olsina, the R&B vocalist with whom Pinkett Smith, aged 50, admittedly shared an extramarital entanglement, appears to be exhuming the twisted details of their since-bedded relationship in a new song, Shake the World. Well, of course some shit is bound to go down when you tangled up with the world's favourite. Alcina29 sings on the track, which he teased via his verified Instagram profile on recently. His controversial lyrics come amid the chaos sparked by Pinkett Smith's husband of nearly three decades, Will Smith, 53, who infamously slapped comedian Chris Rock, 57, for teasing the actress about her short hair during the Oscars on March 27th. 
Elsewhere in the ditty, Alcina, who forged an extremely close and public bond with Pinkett Smith in 2015 and openly confessed to their romantic relationship in 2020, also makes reference to getting cancelled after the leading lady confirmed their affair alongside a crestfallen Smith on her Facebook series, Red Table Talk, in July 2020. I heard I was cancelled, croons, the musician on the track. Well, let's not speak on that. Red dot on my back. I became a target, and I'm flawed but flawless. That's what makes me august. Digital detectives on Twitter were immediately able to decode Alcina's not-so-cryptic lyrics and are calling him out for reigniting the old flame of his and Pinkett Smith's fling. If, August Alcina, don't let that entanglement go. Damn, that's probably why she ain't fucking with you now talking like a Barbie scolded one cyber naysayer. I said it once and I'll say it again. Augusta Alcina moving like a hurt side chick, agreed another. Anybody still feeling sorry for him is stupid. He knew what he was doing and he spoke out with ill intentions because Jada went back to Will, point blank period. So far, neither Smith nor Pinkett Smith has commented on Alcina's latest release. Well, in terms of Alcina's behaviour, what might this be? Well, might he be a narcissist? And therefore, when he sees all of the affair being mentioned again through the press following on from the Oscar slap, that causes Smith and Pinkett Smith to come up on his radar. And because Pinkett Smith is painted black in his world, he has to assert control over her and does so in a malign way. He's not able to do so directly, or his narcissism chooses not to. So he doesn't ring her up and say, you effing so-and-so, I can't believe you treated me so coldly and kicked me to the curb, who do you think you are? That doesn't happen. He either doesn't have the means of contacting her, or his narcissism apprehends that it's too problematic, and therefore doesn't encourage him to go down that route. Instead, like many, it causes him to go along the indirect route, causing him to write a song referencing her so that the world will hear about it, and the reaction to it provides him with an unconscious sense of control over her. He essentially smears her, a common tactic of the narcissist. So it might be that the threat to control that she poses as a consequence of coming back upon his radar following the recent Oscar slap incident means that his narcissism causes him to react in this fashion. Alternatively, he may not be a narcissist, and instead he might be a normal or even an empathic individual. Assuming that he's one of those, he does exhibit emotional empathy, and of course he will have had considerable emotional empathy for Jada Pinkett Smith being involved in a relationship with him. The fact that she drew him in, seduced him, utilising her narcissistic wiles over him, and then clearly kicked him to one side, meant that he was hurt. Not wounded in the sense that a narcissist would be wounded, but hurt, that he was invalidated that the love that he felt for this woman was now being denied, and she went back to her husband. If that is the case, that he is normal or an empathic individual, his response is that of a hurt individual, and many of you listening know the pain that you experienced as a consequence of how you had been treated by a narcissist. There will be those of you that were in the intimate relationship as husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, and found yourself either having to escape or, more usually, you found yourself being disengaged from and the narcissist went off with somebody else and you know how much that hurt you and perhaps still does. It might be that you were ensnared by a narcissist who was married to somebody else and you became the side piece, the affair partner, the other man or the other woman, picked up and taken off the shelf periodically until put back on and then perhaps hearing nothing more for a very long time indeed. The frustration of never knowing where you stood, the aggravation of never knowing how the relationship was being defined, the upset caused by the treatment, waiting for those telephone calls, the dates where they might turn up or they might not. The hurt, no doubt, is something that you can recall and is visceral for you. So, assuming that August Alcina is an individual that has emotional empathy, his response, although labelled by those who are not in the know, talking about him being like a hurt side chick and the other talking like a Barbie, not quite sure what all that's about, but anyway, we'll run with it. 
Those comments are made by people that don't understand the narcissistic entanglement. They don't understand the nature of how a person can be drawn in, being given a, a whirlwind experience, and no doubt he was made to feel like a king. Here's this attractive, successful, famous woman that pays attention to him and turns his world upside down. And he thinks, go me, look who I've pulled. Only for her then to pull the rug from under his feet, dump him and go back to her husband. An individual who was fragile when she met him, no doubt being thrown back into that fragility. And assuming that he's not a narcissist, and indeed is normal or empathic, and in those circumstances is somebody that operates with emotional empathy, he has been badly hurt by the experience. Of course, he would be well advised, if he were a client of mine, to implement a no-contact regime with regard to Jada Pinkett Smith, to apply GOSO. He's gotten out, courtesy of her, he must now stay out. And it doesn't help him, although he may, may well think that it does, to continue to sing about her and talk about her. That will be emotional thinking, if he's an empath, causing him to have his narcissistic traits of pride corrupted so that he continues to talk about it. He will be far more effective by not talking about her ever again and moving on with his life. There are those that don't understand the nature of such an ensnarement who just think that he's acting like a butt-hurt side piece and he ought to move on. Well, they're right that he ought to move on, but they don't grasp how he's been impacted by her behaviour and what the narcissist will do to an individual. Those of you listening who've been unsuitably ensnared will know full well. What about Jada Pinkett Smith? How would she react to hearing about this song? Well, assuming it's come across her bows... She's not going to contact August direct and say, leave it out, young man, all right? Or, look, I'll come over and give you some more of the spicy poontang if you keep your mouth shut. She's unlikely to assert control over him directly. She's remained silent on the topic so far, and therefore, while she might have made comment perhaps to close confidants about him, thus smearing him and asserting control indirectly, she hasn't done so publicly not taking to writing a song or making a press, issuing a press release or even anything on social media, which is often the way of some narcissists. So there might have been a private smearing of him, or more likely, she just stays in a position of withdrawal and ignores him. He's in the past, and although he's come up on the radar by virtue of this song, she's not interested, and her narcissism doesn't want her to spend any asset or resource or energy upon him, and instead keeps herself in a position of withdrawal, thus achieving that unconscious sense of control. She has no need to draw fuel from him. She has no need to gain character traits or residual benefits. The narcissism basically says the best way to assert control over this individual is to stay in a position of withdrawal, and thus she does. His response, of course, does provide us with the opportunity to understand how a victim responds to the nature of their entanglement where they were an intimate partner, secondary source of a shelf variety. That they were picked up, put down, picked down, picked up, put down, and then, unusually, for a secondary source, disengaged from. Or usually, they stay on the shelf. Thrown comfort crumbs, sometimes taken off the shelf, going back on, perhaps left on there for months or even years at a time. But it was a clear disengagement, given the language of the way she spoke about it and the way that he spoke about it. But this provides a useful opportunity to understand that dynamic and why he's reacting in the way that he has, taking into account possibly he's a narcissist or if he's not, what he is by virtue of normal or empath. So you gain more understanding about the human behaviours that are applicable to such entanglements. I'm H.D. Tudor. Thank you for listening.